let me find it on the screen. <sighs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Am I live? I am live. Come on, computer, do your thing. Do your thing. Come on, do your thing. Hey, there we go. Big screen. Where's my comments? Bum, bum, bum. Show comments? Oh, that's a lot. Hang on. Show comments. Oh, there we go. Someone's saying something. Why Hello, I... Tina. Oh, there she is down the bottom. Hey, <laughs> Tina. Good morning, Rosie. How are we guys? All right. Can everyone see me? Okay. Let's get my mouse off to the side. Oh, okie dokie. As we build. Let's do this. What a busy morning here in the studio. We're a little bit frantic today is a mild understatement. It's been, it's been a bit of a morning. Um, but here we are and we're all off and running now and you know, nobody died, nobody cried yet. So it's all good. Okay, so as part of the great international craft show number nine, I'm going to be doing three live Facebooks today. Um, and this is the first one. I'm gonna be playing with some Tim Holtz products. So you'll have to excuse my little handwritten amateurish sort of sign here, but that was the thing that I forgot to write up. And I actually used the new Vicky Booten um, gel crayons on these too. I'll make a proper grown-up one before the next one. Um, so nataliemay.com.au, you will find today 15% off um, Tim Holtz. 15% off chipboard. 15% off Tim Holtz and chipboard. Not Tim Holtz chipboard. Well, actually, I don't think there is any Tim Holtz chipboard, but 15% um, off. So... We are going to, I'm going to show you some things that you can do with some Tim Holtz products. Here in front of me, I have got a range of Tim Holtz products, including Distress Oxides and Distress Inks. So because they are on special as well, I thought I would have a bit of a play with them. So I'm just going to slide that up there. Let's get rid of that and that. <coughs> And I'm gonna get these little guys out and start having a little bit of a play. So this is the set that comes with, that. this is the new little mini inks set. So these are the little baby ones that are a little bit cute. Um, and I'm going to uh, have a play with these colors and just do some simple blending on some white tags. I'm going to use the, where are we? Here we go. Dina Wakely white manila tags. These are fantastic. They come in a pack of 50 and that's not too shabby, I have to say. Um, and I'm just reading your comments as I go here. So they are a pretty awesome tag. So these are the number eights. We also have available in stock the number tens. So let's have a bit of a play here and let's play with these colors first. So these are the, this set comes in a set of four. Um, I don't know how much they are because I'm not that organized. Uh, this is Rustic Wilderness and they are lovely and juicy. 23.85 is the full price. 23.85 is the full price and then you're gonna take 15% discount off of that. So these are the colors, flat to paper with the Distress Inks. Now the Distress Inks, so the minis only come in the Distress Inks. They do not come in the Oxides. The formula won't allow it according to Mr. Tim. So what I might just do is grab myself a black pen and write on here. So this one is Crackling Campfire. This one is Kitsch Flamingo. This one is my favorite of the new collection, Speckled Egg. And this one is Rustic Wilderness. 
All right, so they're the new colors, the four new colors that he has bought out over the last 12 months. Um, gorgeous colors. So the Distress inks are different from the Distress Oxides, of course. You all know that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to blend them using a stencil and using a blending tool. So what stencil should we use? Oh, I know. Look at this. Let's use the new Natalie May scrapbooking stencil. <laughs> it's a shameless plug if you've ever heard one. Um, all right. I'm going to use the Art, Art Alphas. And I'm going to... Because I'd like... Actually, I like all of them. Who am I kidding? Because I like it. Of course I like it. Uh, and so these guys are not going to be on special this weekend. No specials for these guys. These are full priced items. They will not be discounted. So the reason being is I already give them to you at the best possible price. So um, they're only $11.50 and they are designed by myself. They are hand drawn, hand designs. Uh, so they are super, what's our keyword? Organic. They are organic. This one is called Organic Circle, Organic Drawn Circles. Uh, and these are drawn lines. So I want to do four, so I might use, actually, yes, if I was prepared earlier, I would have not opened them on camera, but that's okay. Let's commit to it, I say. Thanks, Lana. Lana says that they're awesome. I tend to agree with Lana this morning. Right. Whole heap of packaging. Let's just whack that over there. Alrighty. So I'm going to do some simple blending with them using, and I'm just going to do it on plain card and show you how to use the inks. So let's start with Rustic Wilderness. Um, I'm going to use a blending brush. So we have some blending brushes in stock at the moment. I love these guys. They are super easy to use. Um, they feel like puppy dog's ears. I think everybody has used these, but they're really nice. So I do have them um, as singles. So this is the scattered leaves. So what I'm going to do is just ink up my brush. I'm not going to overdo it. Uh, and I'm just going to... I'm going to do a line of leaves down here. So to do, to get a nice blend, it's just a round circular motion, just like that. Nice and simple. You can give it some depth by going over it again. You can give it some intensity by doing that, but just not too much pressure round circular motion so nice and simple so how's everybody's morning going everybody doing all right oh hello sandy sandy spink watching from the south coast of the southeast coast of south australia i spent last weekend with sandy having a few quiet gins actually they weren't quiet at all who am i kidding all right Voila, beautiful. So that gives you a bit of an idea on rustic wilderness with my uh, scattered, scattered leaves and using a blending brush. Really, really easy and simple. So let's put the lid back on that guy. I'm going to do one here using organic circles and I'm going to use a different tool to put this on. So I'm going to use the flat blending sponges with my Ranger handle and I'll use yeah let's go with crackling campfire for this one so this one I get it on there bit bit whoops get it really on there um and same thing again I'm just going to go in a round circular motion so what I like about this tool is that it gets a really good even pressure I've got I keep the, the sponge moving and I can build up my colour. 
That's the best thing about this product. I can go backwards and forwards like this. I can make this circle more intense. I can make that one more intense. Oh, I've got a bit of camera wobble. What's going on there? Why is that wobbling? Sorry, guys. Let me just have another go. Oh, there we go. And then I can use my applicator and use what I call like a, a, the dirty sponge to go from dark to light like that. Okay. So that's using Crackling Campfire. I like it. And yes, I should probably clean my stencil, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, Kitsch Flamingo. So this time I'm going to use the new domed sponges. So we have some of these in stock, but they are not the Ranger ones. We have the Nuvo ones in stock and they fit the applicators perfectly. So I will use the Arty Arty Alphas this time and I will show you how the domed applicators work for this. So what I like about the Arty, Arty applicators is that they do actually spell out a few little words. Oh, I do like this blending sponge. And this is the Kitsch Flamingo that I'm using. Oh, I do like this. Okay, so why do I like this little blending sponge? I like it because it gets in to all of the it gives it gets into all the little gaps. So with this one, I'm going to give some intense color up through the middle. And then I'm going to put some lighter color on the outside. You know, a bit of dirty sponge, as we like to call it. So rather than reapplying. So there we go. So you can see some words in there that as well. You can see inspire, you can see create, and you've got the end of art there. So, um, so that's using the Nuvo domed sponges. The Ranger ones are out of stock. And from what I've been told, they're going to be out of stock for quite some time. Uh, and then I'm going to use my stars with the speckled egg. What am I going to use? I might just get my, whoops, use another um, blending sponge for this one. Speckled egg is, like I said, it's my favourite. It, it's the nice blue. Which tool of these do I like the most? Um, I'm a little bit partial to this. I'm a little bit partial to the um, to the brush. I like the way that the handle sits in my hand and I get a nice even distribution of colour as well, which is really, really important. They work really, really nicely. So there you go. That one is the, the Speckled Egg Distress ink. Uh, the question was asked of me a little while ago, what's the difference with the speckle, like with the Distress inks and the Distress Oxides? Well, why don't I show you? So this is the, the Distress Oxide and I will put on this side the Distress Oxide. You can automatically see there's a difference between the two. And this one is a combination of an oxide and, uh, sorry, a, an ox a pigment and a water-based ink. It does blend a little nicer. Um, I do love the way that it is creamier. The colour is the same, but of course, because it's just a, a little different, you can see that this one's just got that little bit more of an intensity to it. All right. So that looks pretty great. Um, that's that one there. So I also have... Where... What else have I got here? Let's go find in my pile... The Flamingo. Where's the Flamingo piece? Here we go. So the Kitsch Flamingo I used with this one. So let's pop some, see if I can line that up again, hey? How clever can I be? And I'll, I'll do the edges. 
So I've got that nice and juicy. The color's almost identical, but this is gonna be a lot creamier and a lot more intense. All right. So the cool thing is, is they are 15% off today. I can also just get onto my edges here and do a little bit of side blending. Just like that in a round motion. My big mat in the background, we've got some of these in stock. You'll find them in tools. This is just the white um, non-stick mat. So the Distress Oxide is going to be different there, but that's to give you a bit of an idea. You can, I don't know if it's showing on camera, but there is an intensity of color with the oxides compared to the ink. Uh, this one. What did I do with Crackling Campfire? There we go. So Crackling Campfire in the Distress Oxide. Let's crack that baby out. Nice and juicy on my sponge. So using exactly the same applicator as I did on that side. Oh, look at that. And you can see that the color is a lot more intense on this side than it is on this side. So same, same material, Distress Oxide, Distress Ink. And last but not least, I've got Rustic Wilderness, which I haven't got out of the cupboard, but that's okay, you will get the picture. Okay, so what am I gonna do with this stuff? Why don't I make up a, a quick tag or card or something using these colors? And I'm going to use these little mini Distress inks and not the Distress Oxides. I'm gonna use the Distress, just, yeah, distress Oxides in the class this afternoon. Now, Tim Holtz recently released for a, a brand new colour uh, last week, or this week, actually, and that was called... Can somebody tell, remind me what it's called? Something patina, perhaps? Patina? Now, if you would like to pre-order that with me, um, the way to do that is you need to join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. And you can pre-order there. There is a poll that you can answer. And all you have to do is click the button on which one you want. Blue patina. Thanks, Tina. Ha! Blue patina. Tina. Blue patina, Tina. <laughs> You've lost it already. I've lost it already. Completely. I'm so much funnier in real life, by the way. Um, so... Anyway, so you can jump on there and you can order. You need to ask to join the group, but if you are wanting to secure your new Tim Holtz colour, all you need to do is jump on there and order. And the new Dina Wakeley uh, release has just also been announced and I have that coming in too. And you can pre-order that on the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. So... Type that in, have a bit of a look and see what you can come up with. All right, so let's do a quick tag. I might do two tags just in case I don't know if I like the other one. I'll do one in white and I will do one in manila. So this is one of the Tim Holtz manila tags and I will do something in those colors on there and these colors on here. How does that sound? There's a plan. Right. Salvaged patina, sorry, there you go. Thank you, girls. But yes, it is like a blue patina colour. It's really pretty, I get that. Okay, so I think I might just start using, um, I might put the darker colour on, no, I won't. I'll put the lighter colour on my edges. So this is just the white Dina Wakeley tag. And I'm using the domed applicator. Um, and I'm just going to ink that baby up. And yes, everybody playing at home, I did have a dirty sponge. And it still had a bit of oxide on it, but that's okay. We'll just, you know, commit to it. So I'm just going around. And as you can see, 
using my mat in the background because I'm kind of applying it onto my mat and I'll go around in a circle like that. So I always start on the edge of my mat because I want it to, I want to take the excess off onto my mat and then I want to transfer it onto my tag. That way I'm not going to get something that is super intense. Um, I'm just going to now put a little bit of crackling campfire on that edge as well. Nowhere near as much though. I'm just going to, I'm just going to touch it. So I'm mixing up my tools. Now, something the difference with this one is got that edge on it. And that edge has shown in my blending. I don't know if you can see that little line on there. Didn't go to plan, but that's okay. So the way to stop that is you can see that I'm putting a lot of ink on the side and then pushing it onto the tag. And I turn my tag rather than my hand and I get a nice even application of color. Louise, are you watching this? Because if I if I call in sick, babe, you're doing live <laughs> Facebooks this week. No, just jokes. Um, so there you go. You've got a bit of a, we've got a graduated um, pink into red, crackling campfire into kitsch flamingo. All right, so let's just clean off that background there. And my hands. All right, so what I want to do with this one is I want to add a little stenciling on the background. Before I do anything else, I just want to add a little bit of a pattern. I'm going to add some stamping as well, and I'm going to be adding a few Tim Holtz elements. But first of all, I want to do this. Um, because I don't want it super dark, I'm going to start with a clean, a new clean blending brush, and I'm not going to over blend. I just want to lightly add a few really really I'm just ever so lightly kissing the stencil and the paper so that I get a really really light shadow I don't want it to be overpowering okay less is best let's stamp did anybody catch the release this morning of the new paper artsy stamps? I know I have been waiting eagerly to be able to use these in class. So I like super eagerly, like hanging on for dear life. So this is the new little mini one. I love this and I love that they're red rubber. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to stamp with that. Tina wants to see me do a live. Tina wants to see you do a live, does she? Guess what, Tina? I think we'd all just about pay to do that. Sorry, I'm just deleting. My family has started a group chat message. Anyway, timing, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to stamp over the top here, and I'm going to use the Kitsch Flamingo with this gorgeous little... Paper artsy stamp, and I'm going to go on the top like that. Super pink, and I'm just going to... So it's actually put a really, really light word over the top there. And I'm going to take it off the block because I don't really want the whole thing showing. That's better. Um, and I'm going to try not to clean my stamps on the back of my hand today. So that's just got the pink over the top, nice and light. Um, right, I'm going to pop that aside to dry and I'm going to quickly ink my... Oh, and heaven forbids, I might clean up as I go. Um, and now I'm going to do the manila tag. So the manila tag has got that lighter or that, that ivory manila colour to it. Um slightly different has a different um background to it and this time so i do the same thing again so speckled egg is my lightest color and i'll use this guy now because i'm working on a more of a yellow background it is going to give a different sort of 
sort of finish. And what would have been really good is to not have orange transfer. There we go. So I'll do the same thing again. Uh, speckled ink in the egg in the background, and then I'll add a little bit of crackling campfire in a minute. So Tina's just commented saying, looking forward to seeing Louise in a couple of weeks time. For those of you um, who don't know, here in South Australia, we are doing a awesome big scrapbooking event um, up in the Adelaide Hills. Now there are still uh, about four spots available, I think, and there it is a full weekend, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, full days of creating. It is going to be super fun. I'll be doing demonstrations. It is the perfect weekend for you to have a, have a girls weekend away and create with your friends and or family. Um, we are, we've got a heap, a heap of ladies coming from interstate as well. So um, it is open to absolutely everyone. Uh, so I'm just going to put the rustic wilderness on the edges now, just like I did with the crackling campfire. Uh, so yeah, here in Adelaide, we have got the Creative Escape uh, Retreat weekend. We are, Louise and I are currently um, working on the fine, the final little bits. We have got some incredible things for your goodie bags. We have got some great plans for the weekend. The whole weekend is just going to be an absolute blast. And it is uh, one of Adelaide's, sorry, Australia's luxury retreat venue um, in Harndorf. Um, the accommodation alone is like spot on. It is very, very cool. I cannot wait. There are day passes available as well if you don't want to stay for the entire weekend. Uh, and the day pass guests won't get a goodie bag though. We're saving those for just you guys who are sleeping over the whole weekend. All right. So there we go. So I have got speckled egg in the background, rustic wilderness on top. And this time I just used the two blending sponges and got more of a, I, I like this look much nicer anyway. Rightio, let's get some stars on this one. And I'm going to use the speckled egg. put some stars over the top and I'm going to go a little darker this time. I'm going to be at, oops, and I'm going to move my stencil apparently. There we go. So yeah, we've got a great event planned and you can still book online just, oh, well, you need to send me a message and I'll send you the link to book online. Uh, most of you, if you've done an order with me, would have would have received a flyer uh, in with your order as well. So uh, with all the information on it, but this is going to be a great weekend. So everybody from all over Australia is welcome. Uh, and of course, COVID restrictions will apply if needed. And on my blog, which is happydax.blogspot, you will find any additional information that you need. All right. Loving it. So what do I need to do next? What did I do with the other one? I did a little bit of stamping. So now I want to add, what else have I got in the way of stamps? I've got circles here. I've got lines. Um, I might mix things up and go for this one. So this is a Seth Apter design. And I'm gonna stamp this one in rustic wilderness. Um, what else is happening? Oh, that's right. We've got 15% off Tim Holtz today. 15% off chipboard today. We have got, whoops. We have got the no judgment special happening back online. So for those of you who don't know what the no judgment special is, it means that you can shop all weekend with no judgment. This is a judgment-free space, people. So that means that you can pay $12.50 for your first order. 
and then all orders after that we collate them all together so that you can keep building on your order and you only have to pay shipping one time instead of every time because tomorrow's special tomorrow's special is going to be an absolute ripper T tomorrow's special is better than today's special just saying just putting it out there all right here we go we have got crackling campfire and kitsch flamingo we've got speckled egg and rustic wilderness mind you i was a little heavy on the rustic wilderness but that's okay um let me pop those items aside and pull out some embellishments um i have got so uh, i've got a tim holtz ruler here well i've got I've got a box of goodies. I've got a box of Tim Holtz goodies. Let's have a look and see what we can do. There's a dead person. Let's pop them on. What, what else is in my box here? I've got... I've got a window. Let's pop a window on. The chipboard window. I've got some of those jump rings. I've got some butterflies. I've got that. And that's all I've got. So let's see what I can come up with, hey? I think I need I need another dead person. I need another. Let's go for a random. Don't judge me on my dead people, please. My bag of dead people. I want a. I oh, you guys are bit of a mess here <laughs> actually I like her I'm gonna cut her away from her friends she doesn't need to know she's dead. because she's dead absolutely thank you Louise so I'm gonna cut these guys can go I'm gonna cut this lady away so I'm just gonna round off her arm round off her hips I'm sure they were they were lovely and round back in their day. Then this little guy here, we'll keep him here. Now, when you're designing something like this and you're playing with the, the little Tim Holtz dead people, have a look at what they're doing. So she is sitting. She's in a sitting position. So, of course, she needs to be sitting on something. We need to anchor her. How do we anchor her? What do we anchor her with? I need to anchor her with something such as I want that. I'm going to anchor, anchor her. She's going to sit on this. Um, this is a lot though. So problem solved, snap it without slicing your hand open. You could cut it. Yeah, day, it does... one, day one. <laughs> day one of demos and Natalie sliced her hand open. <laughs> love that no i haven't um okay so she's going to be sitting on something so she could all be also be sitting on a cog or a or a window or something like that but she does need to be anchored you cannot have a floating lady that's not a thing well it is but you know not today well it could be but it's not today i want to add i know i want to add a little bit of collage paper in my background so that's the one I've got handy. Let's just rip some of that off. Let's go with a little... Here's me overthinking it. A bit of glue. And I just want to lightly... Yeah, she is probably floating anyway, Tina. You're right, doll, because she's dead. I don't mind me a, t a torn... I don't like straight edges. I would rather tear off these straight edges. And I don't want to over... I don't want that big bold word there, so let's just get rid of that. And I don't, I'm not going to gel medium it down. I'm just going to anchor it to my page. So the glue that I'm using today is the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. There's good. Because I want that bird, because she's going to sit next to the bird on the branch. 
Now, the cool thing about these little wooden rulers is that you can color them to be whatever you like. So I'm gonna add some speckled egg to it. Um, just off camera here on the side, I have a, a piece of paper towel and I am just taking, making sure that my brush is clean and I'm just gonna lightly color that in this speckled egg ever so lightly, just take that yellowness out of it, just on the edges, and then I'm gonna stick that down. So I could use um, gel medium, I could use any sort of adhesive, but for today's purpose, I've got the lovely Deluxe Nouveau. And we are down. Now, I haven't stuck that under there, so let's just go glue, glue, glue. Right, how am I going for time? Nowhere to be, excellent. Um, so she's gonna go there. Good o. Does she need some wings? No, well, we, if I put wings on her, then I'll, I'll get rid of my bird, won't I? So I don't want to do that. I might just lightly color her skirt. And I might lightly color her skirt with some pink. Just a little, just give her a tinge of pink. Just a pink tinge. All right, and I'm gonna stick her down. Now I do need to foam tape her because that ruler sits up just a, with a little bit of height. I do need to give it some height. Um, and actually before I do that, I'm thinking it needs a bit of black on the background, so I think it needs a little bit more stamping. So I'm gonna use my black archival ink and, and this guy. So this one is a Tracy Scott stamp from Paper Artsy, and it is probably my favorite one. So I wanna add some black, but I don't want it to be too much. So these spots are kind of perfect for that. Now, they are just going on ever so lightly. And then I'll bring it up to camera so that you can see how those spots there have um, just enhanced that, just a little bit of black. Done, done, done. All right, let's pop her up. Let's call her Maud. She looks like a Maud. So let's talk foam tape. So you know how we like to go big or go home? Check this baby out. This is the new roll of foam tape by Altenew. And the packaging alone, I mean, seriously. 33 meters and it is 12 mil wide and it is the perfect height. Now, I did a little bit of uh, maths and I worked out that this particular roll of Foam tape works out to be about $1.56 a metre, um, whereas the foam tape that I, the other brand of foam tape that I have in stock, which is the Express Graphics one, um, is about the same. They both work out to be around the same sort of cost. So... I do still have a couple of these in stock, so I'm just gonna double layer because my foam, uh, my ruler is actually quite thick. And it is a great foam tape. And it's pretty. Yeah, I know, um, a page with that packaging could just be a goer indeed. But it is ridiculously sticky. All right, let's whack her down on your Maud. Oh, she's a bit high, hang on. There we go. Maud's down. She's also a bit grotty, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so finishing this one off, let's crack through this, Natalie. Let's get some of these little metal bits from Tim Holtz. Um, so these are the metal adornments, and we have got... Altered, believe, imagine, cherish, journey, wander, destiny, simplify, artful, listen. Do we think Maud needs to listen? 
I'm pretty sure she does. Um, and I need a bit of string. Let me get some string. Oh, this one. I've got it here. Got some string. Oops, my chair rolls out from behind me. Is everybody still sticking around? Everybody's still sticking around? You guys are. So I love these little adornments. The other cool thing about these is if you have distressed crayons, you can alter the colour of them. So the distressed crayons are uh, available online and they're also discounted as well. So they're also 15% off. But I don't, I don't have the distressed crayons open. I'm not going to open a set. But I've got a white one here that I've had hanging around forever. Um, so what you can do with this, like a distressed crayon, is get in here and rub it in. So the distress, distress crayons in the speckled egg, this would be perfect. It doesn't change the colour of the metal, but it's pushing the crayon into the, into the grooves. You see, kind of, you can kind of see that on camera. There we go. So there we go. That one on there. That one. Oh, that's a terrible bow, but that's okay. Let's just, you know, commit to it. Commit to it. Stick it down. And I do need to foam tape that. So pulling out my industrial piece of foam tape and I'm going to double it over again. And bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Come on there. There you go, Maud. And I'll give that a little bit of a black pen outline and do a, uh, a little phrase on that in a minute. Now let's crack out these guys. So we have got these two. And I'm going to get rid of her. Let's get rid of her for this one. And we'll just keep him on there. Oh, she's connected by the head too. <laughs> right, done. Done. And I'm just going to round that off. And you would never know. Look, it's just him. So he's on the pink background, which is fine. I'm not wanting to put the ruler on this time. I'm going to pop this window. So this is one of the scrap effects windows. They're fantastic. I'm going to try and use one in my next class as well. So my next class, I'm going to do a scrapbook page using Distress Inks and Stamps. So I'm just being super lazy here and putting the colour straight onto the chipboard. And what it's done is just lightly roughened up that... Um, that chipboard and then pop a little colour on the flowers of the chipboard. So chipboard is 15% off for today only. No 15% off tomorrow, just today. And I'm going to stick my window down. Oh, look at that. The back of it, I'd already sprayed that in Lindy's sprays. I like that side better. And I don't overthink it. I just kind of get it on there. And it's down. So he's going to go here and he's going to be standing next to the window. What's he going to do? He's going to, he needs a wing. He needs a butterfly wing. Oops. So the Tim Holtz transparent wings. I love these. These are fantastic. Um, they sit beautifully behind these these lovely little people. Uh, there's lots and lots in the packets. And maybe we'll give him a... No. Slippery little suckers. So you get all these little babies in here. So I'm going to give him that wing. I'm going to cut that one off. A little bit of tape behind it oh there we go 
So just a little bit of foam tape on the back of it. Oh, sorry, on the front. I mean, he needs two wings. Do we get, oh look, it's fabulous. All right. Has anybody got any questions? Anyone got any questions? Anyone got any questions? Oh gosh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Sorry as you watch me struggle with the foam tape there. Voila. How cute is he? All right, we're going to pop him on now with a bit more foam tape. Work that in the middle. Don't overthink it like I'm doing clearly at the moment. Still got this ruler. We can whack that on. It kind of needs to be... I should have anchored him to the bottom. Didn't do that. And I could probably add some more of this, but I might do that in... Oh, there we go. Right, on the right track, let's give him a word. We're gonna give him destiny, because it's the first one I picked up. What do you do with your tags once you've finished? Sarah's asking the question. What I do with these is add them to my art journals um, on my pages. I've got a couple of journals with like burlap pages, for example, um, or acetate pages in my junk journal, fabric pages in my junk journal. And I will staple them to those or I will stick them on the front of a card and turn them into a card front. Uh, I, I don't waste them. They don't, they, they go in lots of, um, on lots of different projects in lots of different ways. You're only limited, you know, there's, there's no reason why you can't use them for, for those purposes. Um, pages that I sometimes go, oh, that's just way too hard to do like the, the burlap pages in your Dina Wakeley journal. Um, sometimes when my brain can't fo focus on, on getting that done, I try and staple them onto that. Um, now this one here, I'm just going to use that distress crayon again, just to make that nice and white in the gaps and push that into it. So there we go. I've made a couple of little tags. I did have a pen here. Here we go. Um, Something I like to do, because there's black in the, in the wings, there's black in the image, I do find that it needs to come together with a bit of a black doodling edge. Um, I could make a doodle joke here, but it's too early for a doodle joke, so we're not going to do that this morning. Um, and Maud here, hers needs to be... Hers needs to be outlined as well to tie it all together. And I just picked up a pen from Typo that's not working. Let's try this one. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. So this weekend, we have got a new special every day. So tomorrow's special is going to be amazing. You are going to love it. Um, listen to your... Okay, so Maud's tag, I've just written here, listen to your instincts. Because yes, your instincts are always right, aren't they? So the black, um, the black edge makes a huge difference with your tag. Um, and I'm going to just make this edge a bit more full on. Uh, so the no judgment special um, postage special. Let me tell you about that again. So no judgment postage special. Today, if you place an order, you pay twelve dollars fifty flat rate postage. So what will happen is you will just do your normal online order and 
what we get you to do tomorrow, or if you want to add to your order, is you select no judgment for any additional orders after you pay your twelve fifty postage. So it gives you the opportunity to be able to build your basket essentially. So we just put all of your orders together. Destiny, destiny. I need a phrase about destiny. Destiny is, destiny happens. Destiny awaits. Anyone? 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 Got any fabulous posts? I got nothing. I got a t okay. Destiny. Destiny's like karma. Destiny's Child, thank you. Well, yeah, okay, Ness Henry. I just go straight into song when you say Destiny's Child. Oh, it's Destiny. Oh, I've written it now. Ness, this is going in with yours because it doesn't work. Because you made me write child. <laughs> okay, so let me just recap what we have done here today. Enough waffling. We have used the new mini Distress inks from Tim Holtz. These are the set of four. They are 15% off. We played with the blending tools. So we played with the blending brushes. We played with the flat foams. And somewhere around here is maybe that's what fell on the floor before. Um, we also played with the domed hell did I do with it? Um, the domed sponges as well. So the domed sponges, I don't have the Ranger ones, but we do have the Nuvo ones. So we played with those. Uh, I had a bit of a play. So they're the four colours that we used. Um, Crackling Campfire, Kitsch Flamingo, Speckled Eggs, Rustic Wilderness. So we used a white Dina Wakely tag, and then we used a Manila Tim Holtz tag. Sponged and um, edged. We also used the stencils, the new stencils that I've designed, Natalie May scrapbooking, um, in the background. So that's the circles. I've also used two of the brand new stamps, or three of the brand new stamps that I've just got in from Paper Artsy. These are just the best. Oh, yep. Yeah, thank you, Julie. It was right in front of me the whole time. Um, so the new Paper Artsy. Stamps, now the new stamps and new stencils from Paper Artsy will not be on special at all this weekend, just to give you a heads up. So if you're waiting for them to go on special, they're not going to be at all. Um, because they are new, you will miss out if you hesitate. So we've stamped the background. Um, chipboard is on special. So we used a chipboard um, window from Scrap Effects in the background. Tim Holt's dead person. We pop some wings on him and one of the metals. And with Maud here, as she shall be known, we popped a piece of the collage paper in the background. We've used our ruler. Got a heap of these guys available. So um, the Tim Holt's rulers, we snapped that off and stuck it down for her to sit on. So lots of cool things happening today. Um, and like I said, if you want to order the brand new Tim Holtz colour that is due out very soon or the brand new Dina Wakely colour uh, pro, pro, uh, blah, 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 products, which are also available, you can do that through my private Facebook group. You'll find a poll there that you can just select and order. Um, so today you will get 15% off Tim Holtz, 15% off of Chipboard on nataliemay.com dot au and um lots of really really awesome things there available you'll find today's specials in the daily deal section and you'll find all the paper artsy released releases in the side menu under paper artsy if you have any questions please don't hesitate to get in contact with me um i've got another live facebook today in two hours time at 1 30 where i'm going to do a scrap a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout and we're going to be doing them in more vintage tones um, using, you know, uh, vintage photo and gathered twigs and colours like that. So um, I look forward to seeing you all back then. Thanks, guys. Chat soon.